Last Demons, a short story written and narrated by Robert Fairhead from the Tall and True writer's website. Dylan woke with jackhammers pounding in his head and a tongue so furry it felt like it needed waxing. Last time, he croaked, rolling onto his back and resolving to quit drinking again, or at least to stop binging. He stared up at the low ceiling of his studio apartment and replayed the office drinks. It was the usual Friday night crowd, along with senior managers, celebrating a record month. And it was the management's free spirits at the bar that led to his downfall. If only he'd stuck with beer. Dylan strained, but his memories were blank beyond chatting with the pretty sales manager. And closing his eyes to ride a wave of nausea, he hoped he hadn't made an ass of himself. Dylan groaned, got up and boiled the kettle in his kitchenette. He dropped two coffee bags into the cleanest mug in the sink, hoping the double caffeine hit would dull his hangover and jumpstart the day. Life wasn't playing out how Dylan had planned when he'd moved across the country. And six months on, despite living in a central apartment block with a good job and a gym membership, he still felt like a fringe dweller. Dylan had sort of fresh start after his marriage breakup, in a new city with a new job and new friends. And, hopefully, if he steered his wagon straight, a new partner. At first, he declined invitations to office drinks and parties to avoid temptation. But Dylan couldn't make friends working out at the gym or watching TV in his tiny apartment alone. And on those lonely nights, he craved a drink, just a glass or two, to settle his nerves. Meanwhile, the bottle shop downstairs called to him like a siren song. Dylan had spotted it when he'd inspected the apartment almost turning about and walking away. But the rental market was tight, and he realised he could navigate a safe passage, taking a circuitous route to the building entrance. And then, one night, after a long day in the office, Dylan took the shortcut and left his wagon outside the bottle shop. But he limited himself to two glasses of bourbon that night, then two the next, and two again as the weekend approached. At last, Dylan felt he had his drinking under control, Although the first office drinks hangover felt like an unwelcome friend had come to visit. Still, it was only once a week and they weren't as bad as before, back when his old life and marriage fell apart. Dylan sipped his coffee and gazed out the studio window at the city. It was like a forest, with sunlight gracing the tops of the high-rises and shadows falling on the canopy of streets below. Despite the challenges, Dylan liked this city and his new life but he wished he could remember the sales manager's name and hoped he hadn't ruined his chances. And once again, Dylan vowed to slay the past demons, chasing him across the country. Hi, I'm Robert Fairhead from Tall and True Short Reads and the Tall and True Writer's website. I wrote Past Demons, originally titled Demons, for the Australian Writers' Centre's May 2023 Furious Fiction Writing Challenge. The brief for May's 500-word short story was... It must include a character who is being chased or doing the chasing, the words boil, fringe and jump, or longer, as long as they retain the original spelling, and at least three creative similes. The simile for my opening sentence, a tongue so furry it felt like it needed waxing, occurred to me first, and this set me on the path of writing a story about a man hoping for a fresh start, chased by his past alcoholic demons. I had no problems finding places for the required words. Did you hear them? But the creative similes proved more difficult than I'd expected. And later, after reading the showcase stories and extra similes that stood out for the Furious Fiction judges, I realised I should have been more creative with mine. Although I was proud of, the bottle shop downstairs called to him like a siren song. I hope you enjoyed Past Demons. You can read this and all my short stories, blog posts and other writing at tallandtrue.com. You can also buy my short story collections from the Amazon Kindle and Kobo online bookstores. Links are available in the show notes. The next episode of Tall and True Short Reads will be in your podcast feed shortly. In the meantime, please check your feed or the podcast website, tallandtrueshortreads.com, for earlier episodes from seasons 1, 2 and 3. And follow or subscribe to the podcast and rate and review it via your favourite app. Doing so helps me share my storytelling. You can support this podcast financially by making a small one-off or regular donation via the ACAST supporter page. 
you'll find a link in the show notes. Finally, please do the podcast and me a big favour by telling your family and friends about Tall and True Short Reads and the Tall and True Writers website.